What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix the error with Adobe Premiere Pro and other Adobe products um, with the latest NVIDIA drivers. Before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. So jumping into the error, uh, you're probably here because you saw something like this where it says system compatibility report and the latest drivers have issues or is unsupported by the latest version of Adobe Premiere. So how do we fix this? There are two different routes you could take. You can either continue with known issues and risk a crash. And I haven't had any crashes with the latest drivers, uh, but many people are reporting crashes. So this is why the compatibility report is out. Um, so if you are having issues, uh, this is how to fix it you're gonna to wanna to roll back your driver to an appropriate version. So the first way you're gonna check if you can roll back the driver is right click on your start menu and go to device manager. Go into your display adapters, right click on your graphics card and go to properties, and then go to driver. Under driver, you'll find rollback driver. And if this is grayed out, it means that you do not have any older drivers to roll back to and you can't use this method. If it is not grayed out, you can click on it and you're gonna be looking for version 528.49. That's the latest version of NVIDIA's GPU driver that still works well with Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you don't have the rollback driver option, here's how you can go directly. You're gonna go ahead and click on fix and it's going to bring you to this page, and then you're gonna choose what kind of driver you need, the RTX Quadro desktop and notebook drivers, GeForce cards, or notebook cards. To get even more specific, you can actually go directly to the NVIDIA drivers downloads page, and it will detect your card, but you can scroll down and manually search for older drivers here. So I can switch this and choose the appropriate series, and then the appropriate version of Windows. I'll choose DCH and search. And we see that we have all of these game ready drivers. We're looking for 528.49. So you can see 528.49 right here. We have the game ready driver and the NVIDIA Studio driver. So you're going to click on the one that you want and then click on the download button. Once it's finished downloading, we're gonna click on the installer and hit yes. And we can choose where to unpackage the installer. We can click agree and continue. Express. And the installation will start. That's it for this one. Once you've installed the appropriate drivers, Adobe will stop bringing up that error and you can continue using the program as usual. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Peace.